Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning June 22nd, 2020. Yes, I'm still in the same outfit <laughs> as last week because we have construction going on around the neighborhood so I wanted to get this recorded as well. But that's fine because I can just sit, tune into the energy. Things are definitely taking a turn. Things are taking a turn. Uh, but before we get into that, if you want a personal reading with me, just go to angelsouls444.com. If you want to check out courses, uh, gumroad.com. And of course, your help on Patreon really, really, really makes this possible. I just want to let you guys know, especially if you're already a Patreon supporter, just how much you're doing, not just for me, but for any YouTuber or any artist that you are supporting through Patreon. Um, I, I think you need to know just how helpful that is. <laughs> all right, so again, a huge thank you. You're the best. I love you guys so much. All right, so this major turn, major turn. This, hmm, it's more of the same and yet not. <laughs> so, so there's a feeling here of things breaking open, which can be very uncomfortable. We were talking last week in last week's video about healing our own trauma that helps the collective to heal. Uh, and it also gets us prepared so that we're not freaking out every time something happens. Okay. I've said before, we can't get into this mindset of, oh, I got to wait until everything goes back to normal because you'd be waiting a long time. Okay. <laughs> I don't think anything is going to be normal from here on out, but we are, um, they're, they're saying crashing through things. So, um, you ever get into that place where you're already having a day where it's just like, I've got nothing to lose. Like, let me just try this one thing. Let me get that uncomfortable phone call out of the way because you know, it's already been one of those days. It, it's kind of that feeling of, okay, it's already, everything's kind of cracked open. We're looking at it, we're healing it. Let's have that uncomfortable conversation. Uh, space, space information be coming at you. Okay. I don't know what the, I don't, I don't want to like, <laughs> the reason why I'm hesitating is because I feel, I feel expansion, opening minds, um, maybe realizing a lot of things have been a lie, but hello, <laughs> is that a shock? I don't know. Um, but, uh, some more information coming in that will help inform the wholeness of our being. What does that mean? That means we are who knows what it's going to look like exactly or how it's going to manifest, but this could be something where science, cause you know, we need science. Um, science comes in <laughs> and proves something that has been an ancient understanding for thousands of years. So it could be something like that where it's like, Oh, we found proof of you know this thing that was part of the tradition of this da 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 da. And here it is. I don't want to feed into, oh my gosh, there's UFOs and all that stuff. Listen, hey, yo, this cannot be the height of intelligence here on the earth. I'm just saying. Grim, if it is. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> but like, I was watching this thing live the other day, and it was the moon, and it was Jupiter. I think it was Jupiter right behind it. And people were flipping out, being like, and I even cracked a joke. I'm like, well, my ride's here. See y'all. <laughs> Everyone thought it was like, you know, a spaceship coming in. It was, it was Jupiter, okay, or Saturn. It was one of the two. Um, but it was so, you were so able to see it. It's probably Jupiter. Uh, but yeah, you know, we, I think that shows a want. We, we feel something's there and we want to get the story. We want to see what's coming. Don't be afraid when things start to open up. We don't want to get ourselves pulled down a different road. Don't turn in one method of brainwashing for another. All right. We have to remain open. We have to remain flexible. We have to, you know, there are going to be things that are coming up in our faces to, to be looked at. This is the turn that we're taking. We're going to start seeing too, where there's going to be surprise healing. You know, I mean, this is where we're having more of the photos, hopefully. This is just an example here. Hopefully we'll have more of those photos where we see um, cops and protesters coming together and understanding one another. Again, hopefully. Um, or where people start to open up and go, oh, I hadn't seen it from that perspective. You know, that kind of thing. These unexpected healings, these um, unexpected alliances. So people coming together in support that you would normally have thought of as 
enemies, right? So that sort of thing. There will also be another side to this where, you know, people who just, they don't, hmm, they don't carry a lot of love in them for whatever reason. And they're hateful and they want to just tear people down. We're going to see them, but they're getting smaller and smaller and smaller in number. So whatever you see out there, don't be fooled. Don't be fooled to think that they are having all the power because they're not. All right. Now that's going to be hard for some people. That's going to be hard for some people because they're going to say, well, that, no, 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 they, we need to keep an eye on them. I'm not saying ignore them. I'm not saying, you know, be like, you know, pretend like they're not there. What I am saying, though, is that they're not as powerful as we've been made to think that they are. We're realizing where the power actually lies. And it might even be where we as a collective people, we see how much love. When we gather forces, we see how much love we can bring to a situation. So this is very much getting in touch with the earth, with our own natural frequencies. Okay. Um, how that looks for you is up to you. Again, we'll all have different experiences and we can report back with one another. But the whole idea here is to um, not fight the change, be taking care of yourself. That's a continuation of last week's message. And to not keep holding your anger in so that um, you end up lashing out on somebody or, you know, where can you let more love in? Can I just put it that way? Where can you let more love in? Are you more concerned about being right and being seen as important than you are about your child feeling loved? Sorry, that's a hard one, isn't it? That's a hard one. Now, I'm not saying that if you're like um, a dad out there who works long hours that you're a terrible parent. I'm not saying that. Because remember, we have to be an example to our children. We have to be an example to our children. So what, what message are you sending? Right? Your child might very well... Uh, appreciate that you have so much experience in being, I don't know, an architect, right? And maybe your child has some fascination with that. And because you've done it, you can pave the path, you know, not give them favors. That's not what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> not giving them favors, but, um, you know, guiding and saying you can do it and giving support and you've been through it. So, you know, that's very valuable as well. But what I'm getting at here is, you know, when you do have time, in your life to interact with other people? Are you constantly looking at your watch? Or are you enjoying the interaction with the person across from you? I used to have friends like that all the time in New York City. Um, I actually had one in particular who her whole life, she didn't feel valuable unless she felt popular. And so you would cut time out of your schedule to go <laughs> sit with her and the whole time she's looking at her watch or looking at her phone to see what time it is because she had somewhere else to be. Cause she's just so hot and in demand, right? And eventually I had to let that friendship go because I realized like you're not interested in engaging with me as a person. I'm a number to you. You know, you like being able to say, oh, I have a hundred friends, right? Like it was weird. So that's kind of what we're getting at here. We're getting down to what is important. Um, what are the priorities? Remember, that's what the whole illness thing started coming up and trying to teach us. Okay, getting our priorities straight. And also teaching us how to cope, okay? So how to cope and um, letting some of our vulnerabilities come up to the surface. We're in the process of learning a different way. So why don't we give ourselves that chance to get creative, to see what new and more beautiful things we can create? What kind of history are we making in this moment, right? So that's the kind of week we got going on. It's a huge turn. Yes, it's going to be messy, but yes, there's this whole like, oh, that feels so much better, right? It has that kind of feeling about it, like, oh, that was icky. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, but oh, I'm so glad we got through that. You know, is this the week that we're seeing the possibility of love between human beings? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. That's always a possibility. Do we see ourselves getting a step closer to understanding one another? Definitely. Definitely. And here's a weird message that's coming up. Even if somebody still acts like they are against you, sometimes that's an act for their people. Sometimes they're afraid of not fitting in themselves. And this is the way that they protect themselves. 
So that's not really how they feel. Um, people are coming out of their brainwashing. That's how I want to put it. People are coming out of their brainwashing. And I know it's disappointing to think, well, you're coming out of your brainwashing, then stand with us or um, then be kind and then stop saying those horrible things or stop showing up at those awful events or whatever. There are going to be more people that sort of rehabilitate. It's just going to take a little bit of time. Okay. I wish I had some grandiose thing of like, hey, this is the week where everything is better, but it's not. Um, <laughs> we'll get there though. We'll get there. But remember, this is all about creative solutions and not just thinking that everything is ruined because, you know, it doesn't look the way you think it should. Yes. And, uh, there, there's just lots and lots of movement that's happening. So take comfort guys, take comfort. Love is on the way. Love's always been there. Well, you could tap into love any old time you want. Let's just make sure we're not pushing love away though. All right. Oh, I'm using the Magdalene Oracle. Are we happy? <laughs> Everyone excited? All right. All right. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? All right. So this was at the bottom of the deck. This is Guardian Angel. So we are being helped. We are being protected. But that doesn't mean oh, I'm being protected so I don't have to do anything to help myself. I don't have to you know, I can just get lazy about life. <laughs> right? We can't do that. We have to lean into, I want to say even the fifth dimensional part of you, that higher self, we call it higher self, your expanded self. Okay. It's already there. It's not the way we necessarily think of it. Right. But, um, that fifth dimensional self that that's a little closer to who you really are. Okay. And bringing some of that energy in. Now, you guys must know by now, I am not somebody who says, hey, bury your head in the sand. Pretend like it's not happening. I don't do that. Because even if you fancy yourself um, a super highly sensitive person, you're here to do a job. Okay? And that job is to exist in humanity and to do your best to contribute to it in a beautiful way. All right? So no hiding. Now, this just flopped out of the deck. We have past lives. Now, this might be one of those things that we start to get more understanding around. Um, the way it's kind of come through me, I'll try to interpret it as best I can, is that we have lots of timelines that sort of loop around one another. So existing in many places at once. Um, and then in this particular through line, there could be an energetic pattern that if you were to go into meditation and try to do a past life regression, you might hit on some past patterns or even be picking up on someone else's like ancestry. You know what I'm saying? Like your, your bloodline or what you perceive as your bloodline right now. You might be picking up on an energy around that and then the mind starts to create a story around it. That's how it's coming through, all right? So what a lot of people understand as a past life is usually some piece of a collective energy that in that moment is filtering through you and your mind is putting it into a story. Now, it's still valuable, okay? It's still valuable because it's teaching you something, yes, something that needs to be released, healed. But this idea of past lives um, in the way that people, I think, want it to mean has to do with picking up on interdimensional frequencies. It's not past. It's existing at the same time, okay? And so... You do pop into that every once in a while. So if you've ever had a moment where, you know, maybe in this story you always define yourself as somebody who doesn't set boundaries, okay? You're just a people please, not just, but you know, you're a people pleaser. And, um, you know, and then all of a sudden one day you just find your voice and you're like, Rah! you know, and you say what you got to say and you just feel like a completely different person saying that. And then maybe the next day you kind of click back into, okay, I hope that person isn't mad at me. There's kind of a moment where there could have been an intersecting line where you picked up on this energy of, of course I have boundaries. Why are you saying this to me? You know, or whatever. Does that make sense? Um, deja vu, intersecting timelines. Okay. Uh, but again, that's just how the information comes to me and that's how it's filtering through my human brain. So, you know, like, we'll see, right? I don't know. But, oops, I'm doing this wrong. So, just keep that in mind. 
contemplate that for yourself. All right. There's going to be some upliftment coming from all of this too. But the problem is, is a lot of people just get really hung up in the moment and being like, things don't look the way I want them to, therefore they are bad. Eh? Like, how does that go? No. <laughs> it, it's getting us somewhere, okay? It's leading to something like ascension. So this is a very popular word that started coming out, especially around 2012. Um, everyone's working towards their ascension. And what you're witnessing right now is that kind of awakening. So I want to offer this because if you don't work on your own stuff, you don't get here. If you hide away from what's happening to other human beings, the collective, we don't get here. Do you understand me? Okay. So this isn't like hide out time and pretend like things aren't happening. We can't do that anymore. There's just no room. All right. So we have crucifixion. Now, you know, this to me immediately makes me feel, I got to tell you guys, it makes me feel like there's some sort of religious battle going on or belief battle. And one group is always trying to get at another group and uh, other people are trying to play victim and um, be careful with the narrative that's going around, okay? Because there could be a lot of, uh, oh, but what about me? What about me? What about me? Kind of thing going on. So just be mindful of that. I do want to pick another card because of that. Let's see. Gratitude. You'll be happy that it happened. You'll be happy that because people, people playing into that story, it's going to serve a purpose here. It's almost like somebody for the final time cries out and, you know, says, but what about me? What about me? What about me? And, and maybe it's always been about them. And we finally see it. So like this is, when we say ascension, we're talking awakening. We're talking about people um, finally looking up and going, I'm glad I know that now. I have gratitude that things have happened. I have gratitude that we've made progress. Progress is a big one, okay? It may not be as much as you want, but there's some, okay? So have gratitude for as far as we have come. Again, this isn't it. There's going to be much more to come, so. But be grateful. Try to find things to be grateful for every single day. Every single day. That'll help you get through this. All right. Okay, what do we have? We have tangerine. Be spontaneous and have fun. The number is 17. This was on the bottom of the deck. <laughs> So this is saying, you know, there's going to be a lot of hard hitting things or going to be things that we suddenly see right through it. Um, lots of things coming to our awareness, but that doesn't mean that you can't give your heart a break every once in a while. So we were saying, you know, if you're one of those people who wants to just bury your head in the sand, you want to pretend like nothing's happening. It's not going to work. Okay. <laughs> it's not going to work. Like I said, it's every energy that has to show up and play a role. Yes, uh, but that doesn't mean that you can't still find something to love about your life or, you know, when times are tough, maybe going and spending time with your children and, um, you know, doing something very childlike. I, I finally, you know, got to go out and do something that makes me feel like a kid. It's been closed for forever. I finally got to go out and have a little moment. Um, and it does something for you, right? <laughs> it helps you get in touch with your inner child. It helps kind of alleviate some of the heaviness yes so things are happening things it's, it's very dichotomous here guys it's, it sort of feels like yes things are kind of falling down and yes people can get really hung up on what it should be and how it should look and all those things um but we are making progress we are you know doing what needs to be done but make sure you're giving yourself plenty of time to take a break have some fun lighten your heart because that's where your energy needs to be we need to keep carrying forward and keep making that progress all right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.